Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, excellencies. It's really a great honor for me to, to have this uh, evening with you all, all of you. Welcome you all to Rasul Khaimah. Your honorable Madame Mujuru, Vice President of Zimbabwe, Your Excellency Sham Batija, Minister and Senior Economic Advisor to the President of Afghanistan, your Excellency Makhdoum Amin Fahim, Senior Minister and Minister of Commerce of Pakistan. Your Excellency Lokesh Mysur Kapanhaya of Ambassador of India and Your Excellency the Ambassador of Pakistan, Mr. Jamil Ahmed Khan. Dear friends, Welcome all to the Amrit here. It's, it's my pleasure to, to host you here today for the third Global Arab Business Meeting. Welcome to the Amrit, welcome to Ras al I hope that you have a lovely time here. I would like, of course, to take this opportunity to thank the sponsors of this, Horasis, Rakia, and Chamber of Commerce for the work they put in putting this event together. The meeting that will gather for you here over the two coming days discuss challenges, opportunities, and drivers, and prospects for our region to develop and prosper. It is my hope that this forum is not a place of discussion in which year after year you will go over the same issues but rather that we spur it into action and that in the coming years we focus on what has been achieved and what has been done. <clears throat> it's also my hope that all of you experience tangible benefits from attending this meeting in the form of new contacts, new opportunities, and new ways of thinking about doing business in this region. Scarcely a, scarcely a, a day goes by that the world competitively is not mentioned in this, in this part of the world. Every country aspires to be competitive, to develop its key sectors to attract more of investment and ultimately to be a place in which many people want to come and live and work. The, AOT, the, the UAE today is currently ranked overall at 24th place on the World Competitive Index. But among the top 10 nations globally in infrastructure, number eight in macroeconomic environment, number seven in goods and market efficiency, five in you know, labor market efficiency is number seven, has been very successful in creating the right environment for business. This has been through a number of policies, including the establishment free trade zone, low company taxation rates, minimal red tape, and a, f a truly free labor market, and an excellent online presence for government departments through which individual companies can find much of the information they need 